Hello, I'm Loudon Styles. I do these videos, so you watch them. And before I start on this topic of Loudon's world, I got one question for Tubers93. <laughs> Let's get on with the video. Okay, today on Loudon's World, my I'm going to do another one of these clear up some personal things that have been going on right now. Um, now let me let me you know explain what's going on. A friend of mine and subscriber by the name of Sonic Storm Twelve has basically got into some drama along with a group of her friends. Over a video done by GNR and STP911, one of my friends and subscribers, the whole thing uh, basically went like this. He made a video called A Dose of Irony, which was a commentary done, a comment, a video from Sonic Storm 12, in which you know he did a commentary on. It got a lot of problems due to the fact that her friend who are Shadow Fan to you and Steffi6666 got into it with uh, Sketch and Hodge and Sonic Storm herself got into it with them over this video. Now, I, j I am about to do another one of these clear the air type of videos here and just explain something. Like before, I'm going to be very neutral. I'm not going to take any sides in this because, honestly, both sides are in the wrong. So let's get to Sonic Storm first. Sonic Storm? I believe that everything that, ha that Sketch said in his video was not, and I quote, insulting to you. It wasn't. That was criticism. If you, you know, feel bad because he was talking about the fact that you're a fangirl, he was joking. But here's what you need to know. Sketch has a thing of sounding like an immature prick when he's not trying to be. He didn't mean to sound immature. He didn't mean to sound like an asshole. That's just how he acts. He doesn't mean any, you know, mean of the fact that he's, you know, being immature. He's just, that's how he sounds. He never meant it. He said it. He said it at the beginning that he, he, that you know he wasn't trying to be an asshole to you. I mean, he wasn't trying to be immature to you. He wasn't trying to be a dick or insulting. He wasn't criticizing you for the way you present yourself. He was go. He was talking about points in the video that you know he found iffy about. That's how commentaries go. They always go like that. And, you know, going after Hodge and Sketch and saying stuff which you said to Hodge and, and we're a little out there and a little too far. Especially when it came to Shadow Fan to you, who basically made the situation even worse than it already was. When you go on somebody's channel and free when you go on somebody's video and comment Enrage like Christian Bale and fucking cuss them out and say that what you said in there was constructive criticism because you said you guys aren't her friends. You, he's like, you guys aren't her friends. You insulted her, this, that, and the other. Well, out of that bit of constructive criticism that you said that you had, well, out of that bit of constructive criticism, I heard the words, Hodge is a fat fuck and sketches his bitch. I never knew constructive criticism ended with the words, Hodge is a fat fuck and sketches his bitch. And before I get even further into this, I want to explain something to you all. People have a different outlook than others. Yes, obvious statement is obvious, but it's true. I'll give you a prime example. There is an art gallery, and in this art gallery, there is a painting of a blue ball with blue and red smudges all around. Two people look at this painting. The guy on the left can look at this painting and find a deep spiritual meaning to it of something that happened in his past life 
that made him found God. The guy on his other side can look at it and say that it's just a blue ball with blue and red smudges about it. Nothing really special. This goes with commentaries. When a person looks at a commentary, they will see that this commentary has points, it has constructive criticism, and it's the person's opinion on how it is. While others can look at this video and feel that it's insulting to the person and disrespectful and feel that it's criticizing herself. All I have to say is this. It doesn't matter what my opinion is on that video. Because people are going to have a different outlook on it. I can say that this video is was insulting and all this. But then somebody would tell me, dude, I saw the video. There was nothing insulting about it. She just can't take criticism. Or I can go out and say that, you know, it did have constructive criticism and it had an opinion to it. But I would get comments going, oh, it did have constructive criticism. He was insulting her. He called, how dare they call her her friends, you know. It doesn't matter what I say. It's a no-win situation. So I say this. Storm, you say that it, you you can take criticism. And note this, that wasn't insulting. It never was. There was no insults that he said in that video. From what I looked at in that video, he was really he was really on the straight and narrow. What it looks like to me is that you really couldn't take criticism that well. That's what it looks like to me. I'm sorry if you feel hurt by these words that I say right now, but that's how I look at it. It looks to me like you really couldn't take what he said. You said that you can take criticism. Well, if you could, you wouldn't have really cared that that video was made. But I know how you are about it, which I'm going to get to that later. But then, you know, you have your friends like Shadow Fan to you and Steffi. Steffi gave up because she knows she was getting nowhere, so she stopped. Shadow fan, you know, he he made the matter worse because he basically came out and just raged. He was stating an opinion, and he was giving constructive criticism, but throughout all that constructive criticism, he was cussing Hodge out, calling him a fat fuck, and saying that sketch was his bitch. So it was more like he had points, but he was also he was also throwing those points out the window by being very childish and insulting people like Hodge and Sketch. But Sketch, Hodge, you're not in the clear either because you, you Sketch, you Hodge, you also have Sketch, my dear friend, you were a hypocrite because you said in the video that blocking someone makes you a coward. Yet you block Shadow Fan to you. Okay. Have you ever heard of this saying, practice what you preach? Haven't you learned from the Tubers 93 situation that blocking someone doesn't really help for you? I mean, you say that it's cowardly, but yet you did it anyway. So that was kind of a hypocritical move. And, and Hodge, Hodge. You were not right in any way, shape, or form. You acted like a complete asshole to her. You did. You acted like a complete asshole to her. And here's the thing. that What you did, this whole thing could have been avoided if you just really listened to her. And, and really, you know, listened to what she said. Because I, I know how it is. Sketch should be able to do a video or, you know, get a request from a video and do a video on anyone he wants. I understand that. That is true. He should be able to do a video on anyone he wants. But if someone goes up to him and says that, but I mean, if she goes up to you and say that she doesn't want a video done on her, you shouldn't have done it. 
if I were to come up to you, Hodge, if Hodge, if you came up to me, you was like, hey, loud, and uh, I'm going to do, you know, Sketch is going to do this video about you on this commentary. Now, I'm saying this hypothetically because I really don't care if Sketch ever does a commentary on me. Hypothetically. But, uh, you know, in real. But hypothetically, if he came up to me and he said, I'm going to do this commentary. And if and I say I really don't want this commentary done on me. And yet it's done on me anyway. Even though I said I really didn't want this commentary done on me. I'd be pissed off too. Because I would think, you know, you being my friend, that you would listen to what I say and say that I really don't want this video done on me. But no, you basically just like threw her words out the window and say, hey, Sketch, do this commentary. I got this good, you know, commentary for you to do here. Because you got this mentality of, oh, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. He can do any video he wants. Without really realizing how much of an asshole, how much of an asshole you were acting. So, I'm going to, you know, break it down again. Hodge, you acted like a real asshole and basically just, and basically had her words fall on deaf ears. Sketchy was being hypocritical. That's about the only thing that I... You're actually in the clear sometimes in this because... You... The only thing I had a problem with with you was that you were being a hypocrite. That's all. You were being a hypocrite by blocking Shadow Fan to you. Storm? Uh... Um... All this shows to me it was that you really didn't know how to take criticism well. Because that was criticism. He wasn't insulting you. I didn't find it insulting. I found him naturally be in the straight and narrow. He wasn't insulting by the way you presented yourself. He was dishing out opinions of his on certain things in that video that was said. That's how commentaries go. And if you really did take criticism well, I would have thought you would have handled that, you know, somehow, or not even, like, really care about the commentary, period, if you really could take criticism. But, you know, it just got really too much. It got emotional. It, it just went out of hand. Friends, people from other sides, best fr friends of others got involved into it, which made the situation no better. Um, I know that you apologized to Hodge, but you still have not yet to unblock him. And he's apologized to you. All I can say is I hope all of this goes off because, I mean, I, I, I saw it, I, I just wanted to clear some things up. Like I said earlier in this video, I feel like I need to clear this up. Because they're both my friends. And it's just that this one video got into so much problems. But here's the, here's the real do dose of irony. Sketch yet again get, gets into some drama over a fucking video that was done months ago. That's funny. So I think that's it, guys. I'm Loud and Styles. I'm over, I'm out, and I'm gone. I will see you all in the next video.